Welcome back. Today, I want to find the square root of 7 factorial plus 1. Follow me. Now, by doing this, we know the rules of factorial, okay? Now, we're writing this given equation. We have 7 factorial to be 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 plus 1. Okay, now I'm going to do something here. Okay, now let's do it this way. Here I'm having uh, 7 times 5. So here I have 7 times 5. Okay, multiply by 6 times 3 times 2 times 1. Multiply by 4, okay, plus 1. What I just tried to do here is rewriting my 7 factorials, okay, by having 7 times 5 and having 6 times 3 times 2 times 1, where this is my 4, okay. Why do I do this? I'm going to explain later. Now, here I have 7 times 5 is the same thing as what? 35. Multiply by 6 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 36. Multiply by 4 plus 1. Okay, now let's do this. Here, let y to be equals to 35. Then if my y is 35, y plus 1 is the same thing as what? 36. Because 35 plus 1 is the same thing as 36. Okay. Now, plugging in this variable into this, here I'm going to have 4y multiplied by y plus 1 plus 1. Now, doing this here now, we have, um, let's just bring out this bracket, 4y times y gives 4y squared, 4y times 1 gives 4y plus 1. Now looking at this, we can use this rule that says that a plus b squared is the same thing as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now using the same rule to do this, I'm going to have this to be 2y plus 1. If you Apply this rule, we're gonna get this. Okay, so now here I'm gonna have 2y plus 1 squared. And don't forget the rule of indices. When you have squared and you have square root, it's going to cancel out. Okay, so here I have 2y plus 1. Very easy. Now, what's the value of my y? y is 35. Okay. So here I have 2 times 35 plus 1. 2 times 35 is the same thing as 70 plus 1, which is what? 71. You can see how I do this without the use of calculator. So you can just break it down and simplify your work. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.